What's going on guys? It's Ben here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, off to Villa Park once more. No Steven Gerrard this time, which is interesting. Um, if you know me, you know I've been calling for Gerrard out for quite a while, um, ever since the loss to West Ham. I finally got my wish. Will it pay off today or will we get battered because we've got no manager? I think it'll be close. Brentford are a good team. Um, Ivan Tony scoring goals for fun. That being said, I think I'm going to go back to get a clean sheet and I'm going to go 1-0. Scrappy game, maybe Ollie Watkins or Danny Ings. Whoever, I, I don't think we'll start too, but whoever starts up top, I reckon will get the goal. 1 0, that's the prediction. Up the villa, let's get to Villa Park. Team draw to Forest and get battered by Fulham. We're a shell. Of, we're, we are so much better than that. It's been unreal so far. With the lads are just queuing up for goals. Hopefully Ings gets his hat trick. Hopefully Bailey gets a goal. Hopefully we don't throw this away. Villa three went for dinner. We've not got 20 on the clock. Unbelievable start. <laughs> seven attempts here as well um, shows how shit they are because they've let Ollie Watkins have four shots before he finally scored he's been needing that goal as well though just settle some nerves 3-0 was a little bit reveal a fan so of course we expect the worst but 4-0 I think puts the game to bed um, 62 on the clock with a four break for day at Villa Park I can't bloody believe it we've been due that for a while we've really been due that for a while um obviously in midweek we lost Steven Gerrard um you know my feelings on that you know I wasn't his biggest admirer necessarily I think the way he went out was a little bit harsh in terms of you know doing it an hour after full time but I don't mind the ruthlessness um particularly you know if they felt the manager had to go the manager had to go you know what I mean but we're not here to focus about that we're here to focus about that amazing performance and I do genuinely think a lot of players had probably one of their best in the shirts. You know, I don't remember Leon Bailey ever lighting the game up like that, really. That was Everton. But even then, I don't think his performance in general was that great. I think he just came on, scored a worldie, came back off sort of thing. You know, whereas today he was very good for 70 minutes in the game or so. Really, really, really good. Powerful with the ball. Actually showed that he's got pace. Um, I love the assist for the fourth goal. I don't think he was given um, the assist... Um, but he picks the ball up by the corner flag, 
drive straight down the line, beats about three or four people um, just for sheer pace, which is something that he has not done enough for Aston Villa. He's, he's probably one of the quickest players in the league and he isn't doing it enough. But today he showed it. He stretched his legs. He got himself going. Um, and it was really, really quick. Really, really good from him. And then the pass over to Wally Watkins is good as well. He finishes it off. Um, and he's a player that was due a bit of confidence. So I'm happy for Ollie Watkins as well. Um, but in, in, in general, I think today everything went well. You know, you look at the first goal. Two minutes into the game, you get a goal from a set piece. When when you're scoring goals from set piece, I always believe this. When you're scoring goals from set piece, you're doing well as a team. If you can get a set piece right, if you can do the basics right like that, then you're going somewhere as a team. You know what I mean? We haven't scored enough from set pieces under Steven Gerrard. There's been times where, you know, we've almost, you know, I mean, Dougie scored a couple of dreadful corners. Um, but, you know, when was the, it were a couple of nice routines. I think Austin McPhee, the set piece coach, he was one of the only people that stayed after Gerrard went. Um, and he's, he's, he's proved why in under two minutes. Um, Ingsy's goal then after that, really, really good finish as well. Um, uh, great work, a brilliant pass from Buendia, great running from Bailey um, as well to, to square it across two minutes. It's a simple enough finish, you know, for Danny Ings, a player of his calibre. The penalty, I've seen it back a couple of times, it's Stonewall. You know, I don't think anyone will argue about that. And Ings tucks it away um, after some words from Ashley Young as well, which uh, what we have to say, by the way, Ashley Young. How important has Ashley Young been to Aston Villa this season? It's been unbelievable. He's been so important to this club. Um, player of the season for me. Player of the season. Really, really, really good from Ashley Young. Um, and he was giving Ings some words of advice. I'm sure Danny Ings doesn't need it. It's Danny Ings. He knows how to score goals. Um, and he tucks the penalty away with the plum. Um, and then, as I say, the fourth goal. It's a bit messy. It's a bit scrambly. Um, but Ollie Watkins turns it home as well. So, really great. You know, it's weird. I, I don't think I've sat here and rambled for a while um, in these. I'm rambling now, of course, but... I remember I used to do videos that have six, seven minute chats at the end, but either we'd have a straightforward loss and I'd be like, you know, oh, played shit, lost the game, thanks for watching. Or like today, you know, I run through all the goals. I could talk about every player on the pitch individually and say how good they were, but are you really that interested? You know what I mean? I'm sure no one watches these bits anyway. Um, I think everyone had a great game. The man of the match was Bailey. I loved Bailey today. I thought he was excellent. Um, but I think you could have given it to everyone. I think Dendonka. Dendonka needs a word, actually, before I end this. Dendonka needs a word. Superb today. Um, and were the benching McGinn was the right call or not? I don't know. I think it could have been knee-jerk. It could have been, you know, appeasement to the fans, possibly because we've been calling it for a while. But it worked. It worked. I thought Dendonka had a really, really good game alongside Douglas Louise, who we all know it wasn't a red card against Fulham. So he deserved to play today. Um, and that pivot worked really, really well. So, yeah, you know, won the game. Amazing feeling. Brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. Um, the next game is Man United, I think, which hopefully I get to see Ronaldo on a personal level. Never seen Ronaldo play. Um, hope this Ronaldo nonsense blows over um, and he plays against Man United and he scores no goal in the beat 3-0. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.